boycott uh, last Western meeting. Yesterday, Ruto, the president, went to Kagamega, and of course, Buda Wetangula was conspicuously missing in the meeting. And this is on the first time. Um, whenever you see uh, Davadi, you don't see Wetangula. Whenever you see Wetangula, you don't see Davadi. Remember, Atoli last week met Ruto in State House. And uh, we saw we saw Wetangula there, but you don't see Davadi. So people are like, what is happening? What is happening in lawyer politics? That's the question I think Kenyans are asking themselves. Now, folks, for you go on, take your time. This is my greetings. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. And uh, if you love politics, then here's your channel. Subscribe. Just always meet here whenever you have some amazing political updates. Now, sit back, grab a cup of coffee as we listen to this. Um, you know, Luya Nation, that's a region, has got no, you know, like the king. Uh, people don't know who is the king there. Because, at, okay, some people think that Dabad is the king, king of Western politics. Something that is rectangular, but I would like, uh, uh, but I don't agree with both because I believe Raila is the king in Western, despite being a Luo. Why am I saying so? Because Raila has been commanding all votes in Western. Remember, last election, uh, William Ruto took both Mudavadi and Rectangular, hoping that he would secure all lawyer votes. What happened? He failed in Luya in, in Western because he only managed to thwart or to, to defeat Shaila Murodinga in Bungoma. But Kakamega, Transoia, Viga, Raila managed to defeat him. Yeah, actually, Raila got over seven percent of votes in Western. So this shows that Rectangular and Mdavadi are not kings. Yeah, even if you know, you know, in 2013, Raila vied for presidency. Mdavadi um, died. Vied. What happened? Raila got 80% of Luya votes. <laughs> Mdavadi got less than 20%. So it, it, it shows you that Mdavadi is not the king. Even with the Tangula, Tana is not the king in Western. So, I can say so. I do believe that there is no, some sort of frangos. Like these two leaders, both the Tangula and Mdavadi, are fighting for who is going to be the king in Western. And uh, you will agree with me that Ruto is trying to make Mdavadi the king in Western. Yeah, Kuruto is trying to use Mudavadi to secure all Western votes. Because of late, we've been seeing you, Ruto, trying to make Mudavadi more powerful. Um, right now, people believe that Mudavadi is the third in command in Kenya. And this issue of third in command has been mentioned sometimes back. Remember during elections, Wetangula said that he was going to be, he would, go to, he would be you know, the third in command. And of course, he managed to be the speaker of national assembly so according to him he believes he's the third in command but now Mdavadi came up and Mdavadi was given a very powerful post even though the post is not in the constitution but Mdavadi is the prime cs yeah and this maybe makes him the third in command so i believe this issue of third in command is what is bringing you no know, it's what making rectangular not maybe probably not like Mdavadi because rectangular is you know is you know is passionate about being the third in command in Western. So at the moment, Western region are looking for a king. Yeah. And it is obvious that Wetangula would want to be king in Western. Yeah. That's why I think he's been boycotting this event that Mudavad has been attending. Yesterday he was not there. Yeah, despite uh, it you no know, it being a very big event, he was not there. We saw a totally there. We saw, you know, uh Root of course was there. That's the main guest at Tuoli. Mudavadi was there and some lawyer kings, but Wetangula was missing in action. So this shows you that these two leaders are not in good terms, and I think each of, each one of them wants to you know to be recognized as the king. You know, Ruto is using Mudavadi to rally all lawyers behind him, yeah, because you know that lawyers are behind you know Raila Mordinga. So he wants to grab all these lawyers, okay? He wants to snatch them from Raila Mordinga. So that you know, he knows very well that in the next election, it won't be easy for him to be to be elected. As you know that in Kenyan political history, it is never easy for a government to be elected. Go back to Kibaki's time. Kibaki won easily in 202, but what happened in 207? Raila won. Of course, we know the skirmishes that, of course, took place. We know Kenyan fought because people thought that Raila Mordinga was bungled out. Uh, let's go to 2013. 
Uru probably won 2013, but what happened in 2017? The Supreme Court nullified its victory, okay? And it was believed that Uru Kenyatta bungled the election. So it is obvious that in Kenyan history, it is never easy to for a government to be re-elected, okay? And that's why you see Ruto is trying hard to prepare for a victory in 2027, because he knows that it would be easy for Kenyans to re-elect him, especially when he's not managed to, of course, deliver on manifesto that he promised Kenyans. Unga is high, everything is high. It is he's not acted in a, according to whatever he promised, you know, Kenyans. So, Ruto is trying to use, you know, Mudavadi to secure Luya Nation, because he knows very well that when he has Luya Nation, with him, behind him, central behind him, Rift Valley behind him. There's no way on earth Dala Moldinga would beat him. Yeah, and that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to control this region, he's also trying to control the IBC because he knows very well that it would be easy for him to clinch power or to retain his seat come 2027. So I think Mutangula is not happy with this. Because Mutangula wants to be the king. Mutangula believes that he's the one who should be rallying. We are nation behind Ruto, okay? And he wants, he believes that he's the person who is, th who is in the in third in command. Yeah, that's what you see. You will never see um, these two, be two people. As before, they used to work together, but right now, everyone is doing his own thing. But what actually me met the president in Saito House, Wetangula was there. Mdavadi was missing, yeah? And Mdavadi met a tool in Ruto in Kakamega study. Wetangula was missing. So this shows that these people are not together and these people are having cold war. They are fighting <laughs> a cold war. So that's, that's what's happening, guys. So guys, so folks, tell me in the comment section, do you think, who do you think is supposed to be the king in Western? Who do you think, is it Mdavadi or Tetangula? Who do you think is strong in Western? Remember very well, Vega County is Mdavadi's home tough. Then I'm not <laughs> Mdavadi got 30% of votes in Western. Actually, they managed to only give Ruto 30% of, of Vega votes, not Western. But of course, Tetangula defeated Raila in Bungoma, because Ruto managed to get more votes than Raila Moldinga in Bungoma. So it shows that Wetangula is somehow powerful. And Ruto, of course, is making Midavadi more powerful. That's what's bringing issues up, you know, between these two leaders. So tell me what to think. Do you think Wetangula has to be the king in Western? Do you think it's Midavadi? Or do you think it's Raila Moldinga? Comment and tell me. Subscribe, of course. Let us meet here next time. We have a story of this nature. Thank you. Subscribe. Thank you.